Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Temperatures in April, we're wrapping up the month here pretty soon, uh, another day, and so we're about one degree above average for the month, which is interesting that, you know, we had this long warm streak, then a long cool streak. Now we're in a shorter warm streak at the moment. We had 87 yesterday, and uh, average high temperatures low to mid-70s this time of year. Precip, well, you know, we need some. We're down about 2.14 inches. Just, so, you know, it's feast or famine around here. March was the second wettest, you know, March on record, and then, you know, now we're down two inches, so it's just feast or famine. So we are going to see some rain in the future. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have some scattered showers. Thing is, not everybody's going to see it. We'll have, you know, maybe a couple hundredths of an inch or a, a tenth of an inch. There might be a couple of locations that get about a half inch of rain, mainly to the south. Um, we'll see. So our chance is not huge. Today we're dry, but tomorrow slight chance in the morning, 40% in the afternoon. Then we're pretty dry for Thursday and Friday. However, the chances will go back up again on Saturday. And matter of fact, Sunday we might have a pretty decent shot of getting some rain that we need. So our high temperature today, mid to upper 80s, 79 tomorrow, Thursday. Weren't we supposed to cool down Thursday? Well, guess what? <laughs> now there's a front that's going to stall out and move back north as a warm front. So it looks like we're going to be around 80 degrees on Thursday, and that still could change a little, but uh, temperatures in the 70s and Friday and Saturday. Another little weak front's going to move through. So you notice this cool front's back to the west. Uh, now, that's what caused all the big weather back to the west of us. It's slowing down, losing energy, and by the time it gets here, it's going to fizzle out. And you notice it's already stalling out. So it's going to stall out probably just right on top of us and then move back north as a warm front. So today we're definitely warm, but we will get a slight cool down tomorrow with that uh, front coming in. Now our dew points, they're in the 50s. It's been pretty comfortable for humidity. Um, it's up a little bit, but I think today it'll be about the same. Super Doppler 10, no rain right now. And through the day, we've got uh, lots of sunshine to start, and then we'll have a little bit more clouds around midday in the afternoon. Partly cloudy skies later today. We'll be partly cloudy to mostly cloudy at 6, and then we're definitely seeing a lot of clouds tonight. Now tomorrow morning, our, their model kind of clears things out a little bit. I think there'll still be quite a bit of clouds. Uh, there will be some isolated showers in the morning and midday, and then the chance picks up into the afternoon. You notice that, you know, we see those scattered showers moving, but there's still a lot of places that don't get the rain. So I may even drop the chance to 30% with a little higher chance in North Carolina tomorrow. And there it is. Could be a couple thunderstorms in North Carolina. That's that front stalling out. But then again, those winds turn out of the south going into Thursday and the front lifts north. But Thursday is quiet. It's just uh, warm again. So today, 86 Virginia Beach, 80 in Killable Hills, 86 Norfolk and Portsmouth, 88 Chesapeake, 87 Elizabeth City. Lots of uh, mid to upper 80s, partly cloudy skies and a southwest breeze. 82 in Melfa, 85 Hampton, low to mid 80s in Gloucester and uh, 86 in Newport News, 89 in Williamsburg. The pollen forecast, tree pollen is moderate. It's kind of going down a little bit now, but grass pollen is going up. It's high levels. In boating, southwest winds 10 to 20 knots, seas 3 to 4 feet. The bay temperature 63. So there's your uh, seven day forecast. 79 tomorrow, we'll get some scattered showers. Dry Thursday and Friday, and still kind of mild. And then over the weekend, we'll cool it down some more. We get some scattered showers, especially on Sunday. It looks like it'll be more than scattered. So uh, check back for updates on the weekend precip chances.